Well, good morning. Welcome to another episode of Only Dude in the House. Taylor and I are set and ready to take a trip up to the great state up north to visit my mom. And we're going to spend the weekend there uh, while the girls stay home. They've got uh, a catering gig they're doing this weekend. So I had a little bit of free time. Thought we'd go up and visit with my mom. It's been, been a little while. So anyways, enjoy the ride. First stop, we had to wanted to stop and get the truck washed. So we had the car wash. We're just in just here in Hebron, one I use all the time. So first stop, Hebron. Got some gas. We're gonna hit the road, and uh, not in a big big hurry, but want to get there plenty of time to kind of take it easy. So talk to you soon. All right, we made it to our next stop. We're in a town, I think, called Delos or Duluth or I don't know, something like that. But I wanted A&W root beer, not actually root beer, but I wanted to get their food. So we stopped there and then our next stop is gonna be at McDonald's because that's what she wants. But just taking our time, enjoying the trip, not in any big hurry, so. Right along.
right where the windmills are at. See right through the trees, the big one right here. Out close to it, there's the other one. It's not running. It's be broke. You can hear it from here, Taylor. You can hear it? It's like Freeway's a little loud. Corn's really tall. Hmm. All right, well, we just got done looking at the windmills and making a pit stop, throwing away some of our lunch trash. Those that finished their their lunch so i think we'll get back on the road no big hurry but get there probably about dinner time they're a little bit there after they like to eat about six o'clock so we'll just keep on plugging away we're almost to indiana say bye to
down.
get it safe and sound. I think I'm going to back up in the driveway. It's tricky sometimes because of the fact that I don't have a backup camera. For sakes, so any vehicles here. No cover. We're gonna get we're gonna get wet, aren't we? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get wet. Okay, well, if it wasn't cloudy, looks like mom's opening the garage for us. Yep, she's opening the garage. So, I'll go ahead and shut her down and get ready to go in. All right, good morning. It's the next day. We're here at Mom's. We've ate breakfast. And now, oh, Taylor's just been sitting here chilling, watching the, the big screen. It's like being in a movie theater. What is it? Coraline. Coraline, huh? Well, it's now 11.25. We've kind of wasted most of the day. So we're going to get get around and then uh, pack up some stuff and head over to the lake house and check that out. So that's the plan for today, day two on our trip to Michigan. Just thought I'd step outside for a moment. We're getting ready to head off to the lake house. And um, Taylor's out here. She's playing on the trampoline, but this is the, uh, this is the yard they live between basically any more like two highways. You have M89 and then 40th Street, people run up and down through here like banshees. Oh, there's Taylor. Thought we were gonna sneak up on you, but what were you doing? It's hot. Saw you out there dancing. It is hot, isn't it? Maybe it'll be a little bit better at the lake. Maybe. Where are we leaving? Hopefully shortly. I think we're just waiting for Grandpa Chris to to get uh, get himself ready. Got a miniature trampoline that she was playing on. I got some old Facebook videos. I uh, I climbed up on that tree right there and took half of it out several years ago. I was leaning up over the over the barn there. It's a little uh, shack for his hot tub that they don't even use anymore but he's got a little bit of a garden going on got some corn and put this tall fence in here to kind of protect it but i don't think they're gonna have too much on the corn it's not growing very well fan or something there we got some looks like some pepper sunflowers they're getting big Actually, starting to bloom. Looks like more peppers. Tons of tomatoes. Squash. I'm kind of wondering if that's what's grown in my front yard is some squash. It kind of looks like that. We haven't produced anything yet. These are all tomatoes. They're all green. I think there may be. I saw one right down in there. It's red. Most of them are green. And they got some more corn over here, but it's not doing much. It looks like some beans. So, a little bit of stuff going on. And Taylor again up on the trampoline.
so it's not gonna be too bad a day. All right, let me just get going. So it's almost 12 o'clock now and it's about a hour and 20 minute drive. We gotta stop. So I anticipate we'll get to the lake probably about 2.30, maybe three o'clock at this point in time. But we'll be able to do a little cookout, gonna make some hamburgers and uh, just kind of enjoy the day hanging out. So we'll catch you in a little bit. Okay, well, now it's 12.30, <laughs> taking our time, going, no real hurry, I guess. Say hi, Taylor. We're just waiting for them there. They were out there a second ago, I don't know where they went to. But, um, it's about an hour, 20 minutes, maybe an hour and 30 minutes to do the lake house. And, um, so, maybe get there a decent time. We'll probably have to look at making dinner as opposed to lunch at this point in time. So, What'd you say? Yeah, about an hour and 30 minutes. Yeah, it's, it's a little ways out there. Oh, but it's currently 93 degrees outside. But that may be because the truck's been sitting in the sun. But, oh well, we'll get there when we get there. So, we'll uh, make, we gotta make a pick stop in cold water and get some more condiments and some other stuff. Otherwise, uh, I think we'll, I think at this point in time we'll probably get there about 3 o'clock. Alright, see you there. We are also going to have to stop give gas. I think he was going to let you sit in the front. Yeah. Oh, you're not? Well, then we need to adjust his seat. I'm going to carry it. <laughs> okay, well, that needs to go all the way back then. You get up, you should be able to get up there. You got the step for it. It's a good thing Chris keeps an eye on me. I'm standing there. Why are you wearing your mask now? I can't understand you. You got a muzzle on. I don't We finally made it to the lake house, and uh, Taylor and I are out here. She's looking for toads. It's over here. Not sure. She had a couple toads that she was playing with. The big one's gone too. 
Uh oh, he's back in there underneath that web. Well, anyways, so here's the, it's the lake house. Last time we were here was back in last, I think we said October. You are up front. And he's pretty much 97.45% done. He needs to do a little bit more work out here. He needs some gutters and spouting and stuff like that. But indoors, he's pretty much ready to go. They, uh, it's not very big. Real close to the neighbors, but he's got a little shed. The well's in the shed. And then... You got the canal right in behind there where they can ride the boat out to the out into the main lake. They may end up doing that later. We'll see. But if you go inside. It's not the biggest attic. No. So more stuff over here. There's the dock like this is the master bedroom it's just a pretty small space this comes with its own bathroom you got pocket doors clothes so that's that's pretty cool this is a closet. It's not super huge, but it's big enough. There's another attic loft. Oh. And now they got wooden stuff stored in here, but this would be a nice little place for the kids if when they come and stay, they can come up here and play and Sleep in sleeping bags, just barely about enough room for them. That's about it. I think we're done up here. We can turn this light off. There's no way an adult can stand. You, you're on your knees up here. <sighs> this would be like the dining room area. This would be the living room and the kitchen. There's mom. Hi, mom. Say hi, hi. to everybody. And then they got another old yeah, bath there. There's a knob. I'll have something hanging on it. <laughs> yeah. And, um, that's pretty much the. Still have some work to do. Eventually, this is all going to be screened in, so it keeps all the bugs and everything out. Got this massive oak tree right here up next to the house. It's pretty cool, though. It's actually very cool in the house right now, even though it's 85 degrees and humid out. But overall, so we're going to do. Um, I got to put some hamburgers together. I'm going to do my. My famous hamburgers, if you want to call it that. So I better get started on that. We will catch up with you in a little bit. All right, we finally made it out onto the lake. Taylor's safe. Mom's back there. Chris is piloting the boat. This is the main part of the lake.
You said there's three lakes on this, you said? Oh, there's a heron. See it? Getting ready to fly. No, nope, probably gonna settle down somewhere else. See if there's any more turtles. Oh, there's no more logs. Am I still on your way, Chris? Okay. Oh, does it? Yeah. They're out there swimming. Yeah, there is some people out there swimming. A lot of lily pads. Yep. I meant to do that. Well, that umbrella is doing pretty good. It's covering most of you. Just watch your legs. know about swimming in this it's pretty mucky what do you think Taylor she's dying to get in and swim oh moving feels so much better now any water snakes water spiders? oh yeah there's definitely water spiders you've seen them before they look swollen He's up there.
What is it? Breeze feels good. Nope, there's a fish or something just jumped out of the water. It's like a little swimming dock. Just swim out to and swim. That house just looks a little out of proportion to everything else, doesn't it? <laughs> it's not much of a lake cabin.
big open spot. Really dark over here though. That water is dark. Is this lake number three? There's swans out there. Swans? No. I want to go where those people are. Water's real clear here. Swim with the swans, Taylor. I mean, there's just people right there. Yeah. Are they back. Taylor was falling asleep. Just a little bit bored. She wanted to go for a swim, but we needed to get mom back to the house. She's going to burn up. That was fun. We may go back out. We'll see. Yeah, she just doesn't have any clothes. <laughs> she just has to get in there to... Yeah. Yep. Are you happy now? Is it nice and cool? Cool you off? I don't know how to anymore. Yeah. All right, well, good morning. We are 
on the final day of our trip to Michigan, we're headed home. Had a really rough night. Got really hot in the house. And my headache got worse as the night went on as well. So, kind of busted our plans for for um, going to church this morning. But uh, we got a little extra rest. We had some leftover food from yesterday, hamburgers and corn on the cob, and, and then some extra pulled pork from Friday. Just tried to finish off what leftovers we had before we took off. So it's now almost one o'clock. So we're just gonna start making the track home. If we're willing, everything will go fine. And uh, we'll just record bits and pieces of our trip on the way back. So stay tuned. on the freeway for how long? Uh, two hours and about 45 minutes. Uh, that would just take 45 minutes. Alright, well, there's all the windmills.
it is hot outside. I can't actually like, hear it turning. Like, it's like, yeah. Hi. Alright, we're actually back to right, pretty much where we started. We're at the car wash here in Hebron. Getting this truck washed because it got pretty dirty with the bugs and the dirt on the dirt, the dirt roads going out to the lake this weekend. So... So we're almost home. We're only about 30 minutes away once we get done doing what we're doing here. And then uh, then we'll hit the road and we'll wrap up as soon as we get, get into the driveway. So we'll see you at the house. in the driveway and we did it in just under six hours so not too bad a couple stops looked at some windmills but it was a long weekend a lot of driving 12 hours of driving just from Michigan to to mom's house and back and then we got another I don't know three hours it took us to go to the lake and back so <sighs> Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video. Oh, all right.